had congestion in the breast, and the lumps and all in, in the breast, and also fibroid tumors in the, the uterus, in the reproductive organs, and uh, they, know, they don't know what to do. If you don't have a, a technique or do something to release this attention in the breast in time, then congestion. When this energy stays in the body for a longer time, it goes down to the reproductive organs, causing more problems. And today I'm going to share with you a tip how you can help yourself, especially for my lady friends. You can how you can balance your hormone and your heart fresh. Now this is what what happens in my classes and also in my office. A lot of my, my lady friends and clients uh, came to talk to me. They had congestion in the breast, the little lumps and all in, in the breast and also fibroid tumors in the, the uterus, in the reproductive organs and that they know they don't know what to do. Well you know why that happens? When our emotion, which is starts from the brain, for women it travels down to the breast. And then from the breast it travels down to the reproductive organs. Negative emotions get generated with the anger, frustration, depression goes this way. So once it traps, this energy got trapped in the breast. If you don't have a, a technique or do something to release this attention in the breast in time, then congestion will happen, inf inf infection will happen. And when this energy stays in the body for a longer time, it goes down to the reproductive organs, causing more problems. And the, the least things that you will feel is, you know, you feel so stressed out and you feel and congestion, and uh, you feel you have an infection, you feel hot, fresh, and and then a bigger thing is say like, uh, lumps started collecting in the breast and in the reproductive organs. Now, how can you release this negative chi collected in the breast in time, and so that this energy doesn't go down to the reproductive organs? One technique is very simple, and this technique is also in my book, Born, uh, I mean, Head to Toe Healing. This is what you do. So rub your hands until they're really warm, and then apply the middle of the palm on the nipples. And then you massage inward in this direction, like a two seconds, one circle, 36 times. Put a smile on your face, of course, and you can close your eyes and focus on the heart while you're massaging your breast. So 36 times inwardly, and then after that, outward 36 times. And do it slowly. And at the end, when you finish this one round of massage, you hold your breast, lift it up a little bit, and take three deep breaths by focusing on your heart. Of course, put a smile on your face. That is it. Here you are. So massage your ears from the top down and you hold your earlobes down like um, three seconds or more or less. Let go and then massage it again. This is one of the must do things in the Taoist practice for longevity. Now, the more things is about the ears. First of all, the ears have direct connection to the brain. When you massage your ears, you can help to give more chi to the brain. So you can smart it. <laughs> and number two, it is very good for the kidneys. The shape of the ear is just like a kidneys, right? When you massage your ears, you can help to enhance the circulation in your kidneys. And when you massage the ear lobes, pulling down like this, it helps to enhance the circulation of your heart and your liver. Long time ago in China, there was a study done. So for the women who wear earrings in, in this part, 
these women have less liver problem. So I hope you like it. And make time to do it. Do it as many times as you can. Each time, do it like nine times. All right? If you have more time, you do more. And I do it every day. So I really, really enjoy it. It is very simple. It can help to release the tension, the congestion, and emotions, and balance the hormones in the breast and in the entire body. So I, I share this with a lot of my lady friends and uh, clients. They got huge benefit. It is very simple, but it's very powerful.